<laughs> you know, for the longest time, people have been asking questions about Ace Mahashule. People have been speculating about what is it exactly that Ace Mahashule is going to do now that the ANC wants nothing to do with him. I remember some people said that Ace Mahashule was going to go to the EFF. Some people said that Ace Mahashule is going to go back to the ANC and beg the African National Congress to take him back. But it seems like the former Secretary General of African National Congress had his own ideas because today on the 30th of August 2023 the former Secretary General of African National Congress Ace Mahashule has launched a new political party that is called the African Congress for Transformation. Yes guys it is breaking news the former Secretary General of African National Congress Ace Mahashule has launched a new political party that is called the African Congress for Transformation. We are here because we have suffered collective betrayal as a people and a nation at the hands of the people who claim to be our leaders. We have been sold out with few pieces of silver. Many towns are collapsing, such as in the Val, if you know the Val, September 3, 1984. I was a teacher there during that time. A lot of leaders in the Val were my students. If you go to that town, if you go to Zbogeng, if you go to Bipatong, if you go to Pilong, if you go to Shagville, if you go to Everton, the same streets where I was staying in Zone 13, Zone 14, Zone 11, uh, Zone 3, the same streets are still the same today. <laughs> we as leaders, we have abandoned and forgotten our masses, the people who actually made us and who contributed to freedom, the people who freed us from bondage. The ANC of Oliver Tambo, and I deliberately start with Oliver Tambo because it looks like uh, people have forgotten the longest serving president of the ANC in struggle and uh, inside the country and outside the country. You'll remember during the years, uh, 60s before the ANC was an was banned. Lutuli and Tambo had to agree that the Tulu will remain in the country and Oliver Tambo will leave the country and go and mobilize. And Oliver Tambo went to the West and he tried to get support of Western countries. And he could not get support of Western countries because Western countries were supportive of the apartheid regime. And from there, Oliver Tambo went to the east. That's why we are working with those progressive, whether you, you want to say Cuba and Russia and China, those are our traditional people who supported us during years of struggle in many countries in Africa. The liberation movement uh, in Namibia, the liberation movement in Zimbabwe, Chama Chama in Tanzania, and, and all other uh, liberation movements. The legacy of our leaders is spit upon with impunity. State assets are privatized. Oh. One of the reasons why we had a fight in the ANC, and if you want to know the truth, you must ask the comrades of NUMSA, you must ask the comrades of Crew Association of South Africa, those who were trying to save uh, SAA. And when we're at the stage of uh, thinking that uh, we are not going to sell and privatize SAA, you, you can talk about different way. You can talk about corporatization of these assets, uh, privatization. But the fact of the matter is that uh, assets are privatized. And I said SAA is, is sold for a song. And I, I believe that ESCOM will soon be privatized. And what must become of all those retrenched workers? The post office is going. The judiciary is captured and compromised. There is selective justice. The media is quiet. <laughs> the recommendations of the Zondo commissions are gathering <laughs> dust. And those implicated are promoted into high offices. Yeah, that's and the you know, 
the 18 women who were raped by the so-called Zamazamas are still waiting for justice in the West, in, in, in West Rand. A section of politicians who have never worked have become instant billionaires and multi-millionaires <laughs> while the poor live on a paltry grant of 350 rand. I'm sure 350 rand, uh, people say, yeah, but uh, this is how black people are treated. The cost of living is skyrocketing and basic foodstuffs are not subsidized. There is usual, there is hunger and famine in our communities. We who are doing door to door on daily basis, we can see today in South Africa, our people are, are hungry. There is poverty. The middle class is gone. Uh, if you go to the banks, uh, repossessions, uh, our parents can no longer take their kids to universities. So everything in South Africa, after 30 years of struggle and freedom, political freedom, everything is collapsing. The Freedom Charter and its principles have been betrayed in exchange for a free market economy at the expense of the poor. The national infrastructure has been destroyed and the standard of living of our people has been lowered to tragic levels. Our roads are fields for the poor, causing huge financial burden from tire and general maintenance. You go to the Eastern Cape, where General Intermeza comes from, and many others. You go throughout our, our towns and townships, our roads are killing fields. Our people have to daily deal with load shedding, water shedding, <coughs> job shedding, and life shedding. This has become our second nature. Here today, we are now going to announce a new ship for freedom. And I want to say to all South Africans, here is a ship of freedom. Come along and join us and all those who are weary and politically abused. So I'm going to ask uh, people to unveil the, the logos and the name of a new party. Can we do so, Program Director? And I think our people, wherever they are <laughs> in Everton, wherever they are in Sibuke, wherever they are in the Free State, wherever they are in Northern Cape, I'm sure wherever they are, they will wear their T-shirts. <laughs> Come, 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 unveil. Have you unveiled? That is the... <laughs> that is the party of solidarity. Which one? The top of... Um, the so guys, what do you think about it? What do you think about Ace Mahashule actually opening up his own political party? Because finally, this guy has given us an answer. We've been speculating for months. I hear people saying that Ace Mahashule started this party out of bitterness because he's mad about what the ANC has done for him. And I'm saying good. Good. This is the same bitterness that pushed Julius Malema to succeed and now is actually working so hard to take the ANC out of power. I remember some people saying that Isma Hashuli, like this party will never succeed. He is just another Tegalokota. What do you guys believe that this party is going to fail? Do you believe that Isma Hashuli is going to fail with his new African Congress for Transformation? Because, first of all, guys, you know, when I heard this party's name, African Congress for Transformation, I must say that it sounds like African National Congress, guys. Facts, it sounds like African National Congress, guys. <laughs> <laughs> but guys personally i believe that this is going to be this is bad news 
for, for, for the ANC, especially in the Free State, if you live here at home in the Free State, you would understand that Ace Mahashile really has a lot of support from the people in the Free State. Ace Mahashile has actually done a lot for, for the Free State. People love Ace Mahashile in the Free State. Do not allow the media to deceive you. If you don't live in the Free State, don't allow the media to deceive you about some of these things. Just like when people allow the media to deceive them about President Zuma because the media can say that President Zuma is not liked but if you go to, to KZN you would really understand how much people love Jacob Zuma there. So this is the same thing with Ace Mahashule, especially here in the first state. People love Ace Mahashule in the first state. I don't believe that it's going to be hard for him to actually kickstart this party. I don't believe that it's going to be hard for him maybe to get the first 100,000. So do you believe that Ace Mahashule is going to, to, to succeed with this party? What do you think about having another new party in our eco chamber thing and what do you and do you believe that isma Hashule is going to parliament in 2024 so guys this is a developing story i'm gonna come back after we've get after we've gotten some reactions from other political parties and other journalists so guys please drop those comments tell me what you think about isma Hashule, isma Hashule's new party the african congress for transformation what do you think do you think is going to succeed or do you think that it is going to fail please hit that like button and the most important part guys please subscribe 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 my name is thomas mabaso and i will see you next time bye bye